Yo, what's up, Tarnish? It's your boy, and we back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Hogyo Cool location. Now, this time around, guy, right, mic is working, mic is on. I think I muted it last time in my last video, bro. I apologize for that. Um, you know, we're remaking this, and we were doing all this for y'all, so hopefully this time around, y'all can hear me properly. But first and foremost, for those of y'all, that wanna um that are acting about the Hogeku Conquest. Yes, you can get it from the you can get Hogeku from the Hogeku Conquest. And how do you get it, bro? How do you get it from the Conquest, bro? Is you actually have to like, uh, bro? You have to win the the fight. So basically, what the um Hogeku Conquest is, you destroy the Hogeku, bro. Whoever destroys the other team's Hogeku first wins the match. So now it takes longer. I'd say do PvP because it's more competitive, it's fun, but you know, PvP is another way you can get it too. It's a chance to drop from it. If you have the game pass, you get double the chance for it. Or if you want to like have a good team, you know, you could go in there with four people, you know, you could win with every single time, then you can do the Hogu Conquest. But it will still be against other players, but you know, it's more so like team team um team effort. And instead of one person getting it, it's four y'all trying to get it. So it'll be like four times the chance of trying to get it. So if y'all want to go do the Hogeku Conquest ver version, and if all y'all have um, the Game Pass, you know, y'all can do that. But if y'all don't, bro, then y'all don't. So let's get straight into this, though. So for those of you that want to do it within the game, so for those of y'all that want the location, the location of these Hogekus, these Hogekus do not have a specific location that they spawn. I will let y'all know this now. They spawn everywhere around the map. Now, which map is the smallest map? I would say to go look on. Right, I'm gonna tell y'all which one, and y'all can thank me later. The smallest map to look on is um, Wonden Reich. Wonden Reich is the Quincy's room. All right, so you need to find a Quincy, or you can get a Quincy friend to join your private server. And yes, it would be best if you do it in a private server. Then join the private server. Wonden Reich is like literally like bro. All right, let me to make a comparison for you. Soul Society is about this big, like damn near damn near like my screen size big you know what i'm saying right here then you got um waco mundo waco mundo is like slightly smaller the one done right is about like this big bro you feel me so every 30 minutes you can take 10 minutes to look all over the map to see if it's on the floor or you have one friend sit in that lobby with you it'll take 10 minutes to search that whole map and i've done it myself i've searched on a different account how long it would take you to search it it takes around 10 minutes so you get another 20 minutes to relax within that 10 minutes to check again to see if it's fine. Then you get another 10 minutes to look. Then it's 20 minutes again. So every 20 minutes, you're basically checking. You see what I'm saying? You see what, I'm you see what I did there? But, hey, and does it despawn? A lot of people be asking me, does it despawn? That I don't know. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know if it despawns, but it's very rare. And then another thing I'm going to let y'all know right now, bro, you're not guaranteed. Let me, let me zoom this in for y'all again. You're not, like, like listen to me. I'm going to say this. You're not guaranteed to get your Segunda or your Vizard, all right? It's a chance, bro. You can use the Hogyoku and fail the bonding, and you have to go find another one. Keep that in mind, all right? So if you find it, you end up using it, and then you get pissed off and be like, yo, bro, I'm not playing that, I'm playing this game anymore. I'm just letting you know that I'm warning you, you know what I'm saying? I'm warning you, letting you know, like, bro, it's, it's a chance, bro. After finding something that's for luck, there's luck after that, you know what I'm saying? So you got to be lucky to find it. Then you have to be lucky to use it. And you have to be max level. And I pray to God that it works. Because, you know, finding it is going to be a hassle, bro. You can literally be looking all day for it. But I would say the best form for me, I would say, to do is, you know, play with your friends, dude. Get on Conquest. You know, have some fun. Get some game mode points. You know, it's a it's a win-win situation. You get game mode points. You can train your... You can boost your um, relationship with your Bankai. Or Shikai, whatever you want to call it. Or Resurrection. You know your meditation stuff you can get two times xp from you, you can get um the xp potion boost and boost yourself from there bro you can do a lot you know what i'm saying with the conquest you can be you feel me doing a lot just doing that one game mode but if i want to be lazy towards nighttime i want to search you know keep your computer open and then you know whenever it makes the noise that the hoku has spawned you know it could do that yeah i can do that but make sure you leave a like comment bro and subscribe and always turn on that post notification bell so you don't ever miss out on any of my videos so you get alerted automatic and i know y'all see it i know y'all see it so like i like to say bro brush your hair and take care catch you on the next one because i